The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. The toe bone's connected to the heel bone. The heel bone's connected to the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the knee bone. The knee bone's connected to the thigh bone. The thigh bone's connected to the back bone. Where have you three been? I have been waiting for you today. We had a birthday party in the corner of the library. We got late because Tubby was busy eating cake. No, I was not. We are ready to listen to another story from the Bible. And we promise to listen carefully. All right then. A woman had prayed to the Lord for a son and had promised that if she did have one, she would offer him for service to God. Her son's name was Samuel, a wise man. During this time, the Israelites had an enemy called the Philistines. The Philistines wanted to fight the Israelites and take over the promised land. The Israelites decided to choose a king who could lead them into battle. So they went to Samuel to ask him for his help. They told him, You must find us someone fit to be a king. Samuel asked God for advice. God said to Samuel, They have rejected me, Samuel. Not you. Do as they ask. Find them a king to lead them into battle. But explain to them what it means to have a king before you do anything else. Samuel went to the elders and said to them, I am ready to find you a king. But first you must understand what it will mean to have a king. He will take over your sons for the army and ask for taxes. He will also take one-tenth of your best produce. He will do what is best for you, but you will be under his rules and have to obey him. But the elders really wanted to have a king. So Samuel chose a handsome man called Saul. In the beginning, Saul proved to be a good king. He raised a strong army and fought the Philistines. But soon, he became very proud. He broke many religious laws and stopped listening to Samuel. Samuel said to Saul one day, So, since you have rejected God, God has rejected you as king. Samuel never saw Saul again after that day. He decided to look for a new king for the Israelites. Okay, Tubby. Who did Samuel choose as the king? I know! Samuel chose Saul as the king for the Israelites. That is very good, Tubby. Now, it is time to go and finish your homework. Bye-bye! The toe bone's connected to the heel bone. The heel bone's connected to the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the... the holy the tails.